It's kind of fascinating to watch these all perform very quickly. When ChatGPT first arrived on the scene, it was a game changer. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities. And then from there, we started getting other awesome LLMs like Claude, Gemini, Bard, and even Perplexity. What followed was a brand new world of prompts and prompt engineering. So what do all these AI tools have in common? They're awesome. But here's the thing, with non-stop updates and new features constantly being added, it can be hard to determine what platform does XYZ better. For example, take this prompt generator. All of these LLMs can easily handle this generator and provide to us exactly what we're looking for. But what if one specific tool does it a little bit better? If only there were a way to seamlessly figure this out without having to copy paste each prompt into tool after tool after tool. But there's good news. There is a way, and today I'm going to show you exactly how. I'm going to show you an impressive Chrome extension that's quickly becoming a go-to VIP for my AI world, and it's called Chat Hub. So here is the Chat Hub Chrome extension page. What it is, is an all-in-one chatbot client. It's going to allow you to use every single LLM simultaneously at the same time. And as you can see, it already has 200,000 viewers and 4.6 star ratings out of 798 ratings. Not too bad. And so take a look at this right here. What you can do is use ChatGPT, Bing, Bard, Claude, and 10 plus open source LLMs in one place. And then from here, you can select what sort of GPT model you want to use. It even has the newest version. And then there's a prompt library. This is going to be an amazing thing to use. And then has a local conversation history, supports image input, manage prompts with a prompt library. So it has all of these things. And then again, you could look at just some of these reviews. As I scroll down, notice that the majority of them are all going to be five star reviews because I really don't like to use apps that don't have the best reviews. Here are all of the basic models that you can use directly within Chat Hub. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is head over to this mega chat GPT prompts database. Check the links in the description. Now this database is huge right now. I started with about 800 prompts, but now it has getting close to 4,000 prompts. So it has everything that you could possibly think of from SEO prompts, act as prompts, content, AI art prompts where it has over a thousand prompts to really make some beautiful looking images in Leonardo AI, Midjourney, etc. Incredibly helpful. If you don't have access to this database, I'll put a link in my description. But to start, let me first show you a very simple one. I'm going to copy and paste this prompt in right here. And this is going to be specifically to create some amazing looking AI generated art. Okay, now we're going to come back over here into Chat Hub. And now down here at the bottom, I'm simply just going to go ahead and paste this whole entire prompt in. And it's basically saying, Act as a digital art curator, and then I provide my subject, okay, supercar, and I want my style to be photorealistic. Select send, and then instantly you could see all four of these are producing the actual prompt right now as we speak. And here's the important part. So you're going to notice down here, right above my head in the bottom left quadrant, we have Claude 3. Now, if you notice, it gives me a very short prompt, whereas ChatGPT, Gemini, and Bing Copilot give me more prompts to use, which, listen, isn't a bad thing. But the thing that's so great about this is I'll show you in a second when I when I use this vice versa Sometimes Claude will give me the way better prompt than these other ones So that's why this can be so beneficial to figure out which LLM is gonna give you the best prompt possible I get five amazing prompts for supercar over on the right hand side is Gemini same thing one two three four five Like I said Claude just provides one and then over here in Bing Copilot, I get the same thing I get five amazing prompts Okay, so now I could take any of these prompts. I could take these prompts and now input them into my favorite AI art generators. Okay, so pretty good. Now let's do this even further. Okay, I'm back over here in my mega prompt database and I'm going to go ahead and X this one out. I'm going to go ahead over here to my content YouTube one and over here I have some very good prompts specifically to help provide some amazing YouTube titles. This has been such a helpful prompt right here. You're the ultimate YouTube title analyzer and creator in the world. I have two YouTube titles I'm seeing which one may do a better job. I'm going to give them both to these LLMs. It's going to A, tell me which ones it thinks will do a better job and then B, it's also then going to 
provide me with other options it thinks could actually be better. Now we're back over here again in Chat Hub, and down here at the bottom, I'll paste this in, okay? Let's go ahead and now hit enter. And as you can see, it keeps the conversation going. It's not gonna remove these other prompts, okay? So it looks like Gemini is already done, and it looks like ChatGPT, in fact, it looks like all of them are already done, amazing. So let's come up here, top left-hand corner, and first look at what ChatGPT gave us. Between the two videos, the first option is more likely to generate more clicks and produce intrigue. Okay, the use of personal experience I tried, the informal tone wow, and the hint of unexpected outcomes more engaging and relatable. And then right here, here are five other titles that might perform even better. Okay, nice. Right hand side, let's go to Gemini. Let me scroll down and then here we have this one. Out of the two options, here is the breakdown. So here are my two original titles and then it tells me this one. It tells tells me you'll be amazed with what the chat GPT 4.0 update can do, Gemini basically tells me that this one is better. Even though on the left hand side, chat GPT tells me the other one is better. Now this gets very interesting. So that's why this tool has been so helpful because I can read the reasonings why they think one might be better. And then I can come down here in Gemini again and then look at other titles. Here are five YouTube titles that will likely generate even more clicks. Okay, perfect. So when it comes to GPT and Gemini, I think I call this one a tie. But now let's go down bottom left hand corner and go into Claw 3, okay? Here's the same thing. Claw 3 tells me I believe option 2 is going to be better. And then again, here are five other title suggestions. Very good as well. And then last but not least, Bing Copilot, right hand side. Now Bing Copilot tells me the second one has a higher click worthiness. And then again, here are more recommendations that Bing Copilot gave me, amazing. Now speaking of all these LLMs, check this out over here on the left hand side. We could see all of the options that we have. Right now I have all in one selected. So that means I'm gonna get all four of these. But then you could also add more, I can also add per Complexity, Llama 3, and then Mixtral 8. So right now, I'm just going to stick to these. I think these are pretty good, okay? Now, going further down here at the bottom, right below my photo, I can click on more of these options, and then I could get a different design or a different style of how I want things to look. If I wanted to add Perplexity and Llama in here, I could also do that by now selecting, instead of having four quadrants, I can now select six, and I can use all six at the same time. This is amazing. But then, one of the other very impressive things I want to share with you. So down here in the prompt bar, okay, do you see this little book right here? I, if I select this book, this opens up and it says I have no prompts. I can come in here and create a new prompt, save all my prompts, and then reuse them over and over again. I can also go into community prompts and look at this plethora of prompts. I could just scroll down and get amazing prompt after prompt. So I have a very nice prompt library. You can even pull it back up by hitting that slash button and then selecting open prompt library and then here it is again. If I want to use some of these, I can select save or use. If I want to use it, it fills it in down here in this prompt box. You can see it right here. I want you to act as a debater. Okay. I can remove this one, but let's go ahead and go and find another one just to test this out one more time. We have travel guide and then we have storyteller. Very helpful. Let's go ahead and do storyteller just to see what this can come up with. I'll select use. Okay. And then here is is the storyteller. We'll just go ahead and try this one. Let's hit send. And now we're going to have all four LLMs working at the same exact time, giving me this storyteller prompt. And then we can determine which one is going to do a better job. But from the looks of things, they're all getting to work very quickly. And so far, I really like what I see. And one of the reasons why I really like this so much is I can use this for so many things. This is going to be especially helpful for SEO prompts. Here is an SEO one right here. If I expand it, it basically says, Write an engaging article, one that can basically rank on the first page of Google. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this one right here, head back over to Chat Hub, and now paste it in. My subject is very simply the emergence of AI. Let's select send and let's let this get to work immediately. Okay, the emergence of AI. As I scroll down, all of the LLMs are writing this as we speak, 
and they all perform very, very fast. They get done all around the same time, but then you could see them get to work. It's kind of fascinating to watch these all perform very quickly, all simultaneously at the same time. This has been a very helpful feature. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, how do I actually get started with Chat Hub? Quite simply, come into Google and then just type in Chat Hub, okay? It's gonna pull up. Now, you're gonna get a few different windows. You wanna make sure you're gonna open up the right one. Here it is right here, okay? Chrome Web Store. This is an actual extension, a Google Chrome extension. So you don't need to download an actual app to your actual computer. So make sure you're getting the right one. All-in-one chatbot client, Chrome Web Store. Select this, and then here it is, it opens up. Since I already have it installed, I just get the option to remove it from Chrome. But once you visit this page, all you have to do is just simply install it. After you install the extension, it appears in my top right-hand corner. Now I can select it, and here it is. And now it's gonna open up anytime I select that button. There's also shortcuts you can use, depending on if you use a PC or Mac. Just with a simple keystroke, it can automatically pull up. So let's just quickly look at a few of the key features. Like I said, chat and compare, quick launch, activate the app anywhere in the browser with a keyboard shortcut, export and import, all of your prompts and conversations, you can use GPT Model 4 or your own OpenAI API key. Now quickly, let's talk about pricing very quickly. Here's the amazing thing. Here's the pricing table. We have a very good free option. And again, free option provides you with two chatbots simultaneously, full chat history, share conversations, and you still get access to that prompt library. So for nothing else, that prompt library alone is so valuable to use. So even if you feel like you're not gonna really use this day to day, I would just highly recommend getting this extension. If for anything, the prompt library, you're gonna really love the way this is. And then here's mine, I'm on premium. And then we have premium plus AI services. Okay, so here's the cool thing about this. If you don't have access to all these chatbots, if you don't have paid accounts to ChatGPT or Claude, you can use, and here it says it right here, you can use their subscriptions basically. It says this, premium plus AI service plan is a subscription based model that not only grants users access to all premium features, but also includes direct access to popular AI models such as GPT-4, Claude 3, and Gemini Pro without the need for individual API keys. We provide a certain quota of usage each month, making it an ideal choice for users seeking a hassle-free AI experience. Very nice. So you can use their AI service. And then here it is again right here. Use our AI service, okay? AI models that you can use right out of the box, or you can use your own account. So I'm using my own account like I I said for ChatGPT and Claude, but you can even subscribe if you don't have accounts and then use ChatHub's own account. And then perhaps one of my favorite options is gonna be their side panel. So if I go up here in the top right hand side and I right click on my extension ChatHub, if I select open side panel, check this out. Now, regardless of what website I'm on, I have this amazing side panel over here on the right hand side where I can basically ask ChatGPT anything. If I don't want to use ChatGPT, I could select this drop down box and then choose from the ones I want to use. So there you have it, a very useful tool to help you take advantage and leverage all LLMs at the same exact time. So what I've been using this mostly for currently right now are putting my prompt generators in here, prompts that generate prompts, specifically for AI art, like the one I showed you earlier today. I can put in a prompt and then instantly I can get 10, 20, 30 other prompts that are gonna give me prompts specifically to use in Leonardo AI or Midjourney. I've also been using it for blog posts and to help my SEO by asking it to generate important keywords or blog posts that can help rank on Google. This has become a very useful tool for me, especially with that new side panel to where I don't always have to activate the Chrome extension anytime. And then make sure you also check the links in my description to try chat hub in addition to my prompts databases and thousands of other prompts you can use and try for yourself but thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out until then we'll see you next time